Let's talk about how a drying monitor is installed into a drying hopper by first imagining the alternative. If a savvy processor of hygroscopic resins wanted a monitoring system that does what the drying monitor does, what would he have to do? Well, he'd start by cutting six holes through the walls of his insulated drying hopper for six temperature sensors. That's a lot of work and would add multiple disruptions to the mass material flow along the inside wall of his hopper. And those sensors would provide sensing only along those hopper walls, not in the critical inner area of the hopper unless they were long sensors, which could be fragile, could bend over time, and would even further disrupt mass material flow. Imagine trying to clean or service a hopper that is riddled with six temperature probe intrusions inside. Only the drying monitor from Conair provides a single slender probe set encased in smooth stainless steel that requires only a single mounting hole in the hopper lid. And that hopper can be from any manufacturer, Conair or not. Although Conair drying hoppers built since 1997 are already equipped with drying monitor probe ports in their lids. Probes are typically installed from the top down. In most cases, hoppers do not even need to be moved for probe installation. So the next time that hopper happens to be empty, you can install a drying monitor probe. Now, let's take a look at time. You, Mr. Processor, are spending valuable time to dry your expensive material before it is processed. When would you like to know if there is something wrong with drying? After you create bad product? After you have wasted several hours of drying only to find out something is wrong? How about after the drying process but before processing, the way other systems work? Or would you like to know as soon as there is a fault? when there is still time to avoid wasting further time and energy, while there is still time to correct the problem. Because that's what Drying Monitor does. Gives you immediate feedback that your drying process is working as it should or not. An optimized temperature profile inside your drying hopper not only means that enough heat is being provided, but the airflow that carries that heat is also up to snuff. That is real-time proof that critical drying requirements are being met. And if not, you will know. Now. But what about those folks on second and third shift? They seem to create good parts all the time. Or more commonly, what are those shifts doing wrong? With the drying monitor, we can easily pull up temperature profiles for any hopper, for any time span we want to examine to see exactly when bad drying or good drying occurred. It's not a secret anymore. Drying Monitor creates all the drying statistics for your examination and easily exports that data to a spreadsheet for your reports. Imagine the power this kind of precise reporting has for the buyers of those molded parts or extruded product you create.